Nice meeting you, Tara. Nice meeting you, Owen. I've met this guy before. We had him on two years ago. You went viral on TikTok, and we had you on. Good to see you again. Thank you so much for having us back. And I'm happy to say that you have a bigger audience than the Olympic of Paralympic Games. Yes. Oh, well, yes, that's true. That's true. So sorry about that. That's a horrible time to go to the Olympics when you're having a, a you know, when nobody could go. But still, we got I to mean, do it together. You, yeah, you got to yeah. do it together. Tell everybody how y'all did. Uh, I competed in the long jump at the Olympic Games, and I got sixth place. Um, thank you. Um, I wish I did better. She kind of downplays it, but it's a six out of seven billion. Right. Pretty good number. That want to go to the Olympics. Yeah. 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 All of them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then how'd you do? Uh, I competed in the 100 and the 400 in the Paralympics, and I brought home that bronze. You brought home this. Yeah. yeah. It looks a lot better over there, I'm not going to lie. What's that? It looks a lot better over there. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Um, but, it, I mean, really, a lot of people think that it's their goal to be in the Paralympics, um, and you say that that was not your goal. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of Paralympic athletes who maybe shoot for competing at the Olympics, and for me, I think the Paralympics is so special because it's a celebration of unity and inclu inclusivity and just, like, Walking away from that and going to the Olympics is almost me saying I'm better than the Paralympics. And I know for a fact that I am not, as this experience has showed us, like people are very interested in both sides and there's a uniqueness about both of them. Yeah, well, and also you're just an adorable couple. Thank you. But, and, and then you were all over commercials and you were both together. I mean, the support, that must feel really amazing to see the amount of support that you'll have. Oh, absolutely. And having Hunter by my side and having him know all my demons and panic attacks and struggles, you know, he's been there and throughout my four years. Right, well that's the thing. I mean, you couldn't really be there at the same time, be, yeah. but at the same time you had each other and you know what it feels like as an athlete to be going through whatever you're going through. Absolutely. Absolutely, and this, this game's felt so different for us, I think because we did it together and it's been everything we've been through in the last five years was a pinnacle and it was just all put together in these one games. It was like just being there and supporting each other and it's kind of like we did it and we were able to celebrate that together and it was, it was super special. And then, so after that, then you go to Mexico, yeah. and and now you're engaged. I'm engaged. Yeah. <laughs> We're engaged. We're, We're engaged. engaged. Yeah. yeah. He's there too. I, yeah, he's I, there. I like come along. Yeah. 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 How did that happen? Um, well, we went to lunch on our very last day, um, and. We got dressed up, super cute, on the beach, and then we went back to the Airbnb we were staying at. And he told me he had one more surprise, and I was like, you know what, this is it's embarrassing, but I had to go to the bathroom right before. And as I was walking to the bathroom, I actually saw like the teepee hut set up, and I just knew, once I went to the bathroom, I calmed myself down, I was like, this is happening. This is really happening, I'm getting engaged, oh my god. And then uh, we walked out to the beach, and he asked me to marry him, and I, of course I said yes. <laughs> so, but you didn't expect that at all? No, I mean... She planned the trip. I planned the trip. I planned yeah. to go to Cabo. Um, I planned it in June so we could have something to look forward to after the Olympics. And yeah. Just after a season, and yeah, no, had no idea. <laughs> so, but you knew you were going to do that? Yeah, no, I was very aware. Were you nervous? Oh, yeah, it's an understatement. Yeah, I mean, I was walking around Mexico with this ring in my pocket. I'm notorious for losing things. I kept checking my pocket. And, I mean, when we got back to the house and she's like, I need a pee, I was like, this is going great. This is amazing. It's the first <laughs> thing I wanted to happen. So I sat out awkwardly waiting for her to finish. But in the end, it turned out amazingly, and I couldn't have asked for anything better. And uh, it's just, yeah, it was perfect. Well, she probably runs fast, so she <laughs> wasn't gone that long. She actually yeah. just jumps every yeah. day. <laughs> Um, all right, we have to take a break. More with Tara and uh, Hunter after this. We're back with Tara and Hunter from Team USA Track and Field. And uh, you seem to always be having fun. Like, when you're introduced, <laughs> there's, uh, there's a lot of joy that, that when, you, uh, when you walk out. There's, there's dancing. There's, <laughs> you're always happy. You're always smiling. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's literally every competition I try to go out there and have the best time of my life. And if I think about it, like, if I'm not having fun with it, then why am I doing it? Yeah. You know? And I, a lot of people think, like, this is a job, but, yeah, it's our lifestyle. And so, and you, the cowboy hat, how did that start? Well, you went to Texas. <laughs> yes, you, right? I went to the University of Texas, uh, Hook'em Horns. And my teammate actually wore a hat every competition because he's a cowboy, I guess. And I thought that was the cutest thing. And I was like, I want to do that for my last competition, which are national championships. Yeah. And I had the black hat, and my mom had a pair of boots waiting for me. 
Well, we got you something to uh, wear at your wedding so that you have uh, <laughs> you have a, the wedding that oh, you God. want. Oh, oh this is <laughs> Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I thought I had it on. Yep, the yep. <laughs> wow, no, look at us. All right, also, you're going to need to go on a honeymoon, so you're both uh, going to go on a round trip airfare, both of you, together. Um, <laughs> six night stay at the Buccaneer Beach and Golf Resort in St. Croix. Oh, uh, my goodness. You can kayak, snorkel, relax at the beach.